Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Christina and this is Girl Boss Building Her Empire. How y'all doing today? So in this video, what I want to do is I want to compare my two favorite vanillas that I have going on. And I know one of them is definitely going to be full bottle worthy and the other one is definitely full bottle worthy because I have a full bottle. So but anyway, y'all go ahead on and do me a solid as to go ahead on and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what is your favorite vanilla that you have in your comp um, your collection. And also follow your girl on TikTok, which is Girl Boss Building. I'm doing good things over there. Always posting um, content and different things right there. So if y'all know y'all don't see a video from me up on this channel, y'all definitely can see me over on TikTok. So here we go right so first up we have burberry goddess right this right here let's see burberry goddess main accords is lavender vanilla warm spicy and cacao right so you have lavender you have vanilla cacao ginger vanilla caviar and vanilla absolute y'all this right here is good. Let me just use this on a tester. Okay, so on the dry down, I definitely smell the vanilla and I smell the lavender. I so mad, mad love when you can put the lavender and vanilla together, y'all. I guess that is one of my favorite notes when it comes to perfumes, especially when it comes to vanilla perfumes, right? That you can smell lavender in it, y'all. It'll, it'll have me every single time. It smells so rich, y'all. So the reason why I had got a a travel size to Burberry Goddess was because of the simple fact that I didn't want to commit to a full bottle, right? So the girls was girling all over YouTube. This is one of the 2023 releases when it comes to Burberry. And this right here was like my second, you know, Burberry fragrance because the first one was Burberry Her. And I like that and I like all that that Burberry was given. So when they said that this was vanilla, I was like, it had me at vanilla. So I went over to Ulta and I purchased the, the sample, right? And this is a sample and it cost no more than what, $25, I think I paid for it. So I went ahead and I purchased this. And when I realized that it was getting low and that I wanted it to be full bottle, I was like, whoa, let's slow it down a little bit. And that's just what I did. So. When I realized that I wanted this as a full bottle, I know that I'm going to go ahead on and go to the out, well, you know, whatever website and buy a full bottle, but at a good, good price. So this is Burberry Goddess. Next is my Vanilla 28, which everybody know what Vanilla 28 is, right? And I want it to do it side by side, right? So this is Sweet Amber Vanilla. This is woody, powdery, warm, spicy, musky, and floral. This is vanilla orchid. This is jasmine. Now, I do like jasmine. Don't get me wrong, but it has to be very defined, right? Brown sugar, tonka, amber, amberwood, musk, and patchouli. I do like patchouli. So, this right here was a win for me, right? blind bought it because the girls was all over you know youtube i think i just started getting into fragrances right i think at this time i might have had a few i don't have what i have in my collection now so this right here was good and when i first got it it was really really light and y'all i'll put a picture i'm showing no exaggeration how light it can be when you first get it so i'm gonna put that picture up and right now, as the vanilla is darkening, guess what? It's giving you this color right here. As you let it open up with that first spray and you let that air go, 
you're gonna get it dark like here, right? So I love this too. This is definitely full bottle worthy for me. I'm gonna absolutely get me one. As soon as I get my hands on it, I'm gonna get a full bottle of this. So vanilla 28 and vanilla, I mean Burberry Goddess are my top two vanillas for 2023. No lie. Now I have some more to follow, which is not far behind because you know I have the Ariana uh Grande Cloud, but she was in the project, used it up, and guess what? She's just about done right then of course we have billy ivish she's a girl she was on the project used up and she's just about done so i guess on january i mean sorry december 30th i'm gonna spray her and december 31st i'm gonna spray her <laughs> get out my collection then we have right we have vanilla portions I don't have the notes to it. Let me see if I can find the notes because I always keep the notes for vanilla portions. Vanilla portion is violet, black cherry, vanilla musk, white musk, black amber, and patchouli soap. This was an inexpensive vanilla, $16.99 at Marshall's, or you can find it at TJ Maxx. I'm not gonna really put my foot in it, right? because I want to turn around and make sure I can get a backup bottle before, you know. But she's good. She's like, she's not a standalone, but she's like, Burberry Goddess can be a standalone that you can absolutely wear by itself. Wear it by itself. You know, you don't need nothing to layer this with. But this right here, I absolutely love this. So this is another vanilla that I have in my collection. So, my next one is, which is another KIV, right? And that is Vanilla Oud. And this is from the Oud Gasm Collection, right? So, this has notes of vanilla sugar, praline, saffron, white musk, oak moss, and Oud. Y'all, this is good. Wasn't sure on how I felt about it right and the den is probably right there and this is a 50 ml right so wasn't sure how i felt about it but i know this is full bottle worthy and i absolutely mad enjoy it mad enjoy it. this right here can just take me all the way over and i i would not even care this right here something about the oud i know i like sandalwood in my fragrances especially sandalwood when it comes to vanilla i know i do but this right here is on a whole nother level you can wear it by itself and you would not even man so this is vanilla food and i absolutely love it last but not least was two of the perfumes that i got and i'm gonna leave the pictures up because i don't have the uh the actual um testers anymore and it was the seven virtues it was um i think it was vanilla woods i like that i really really like it and it's also it was um vanilla sky i think it was i think it was vanilla sky skyler vanilla sky i like that as well so those two i might just do a little small sample size to see how it plays out because i know i have vanilla sky in my um in a in the mist but i want to see what it does in the edp version right so we'll see how that works but as far as anything else y'all these were my vanilla fragrances that i absolutely love it's not a lot right just growing so but these are the ones that i tend to pull to um the most and i absolutely mad enjoy it now there are a couple of more that i want to you know that's on a higher end that i want to kind of dabble with as for now i'm pleased with what i have right because i can go ahead and pull all my vanillas that i have in my collection but these are the one that i know is the purest form of vanilla that i have so those are the ones so 
thank y'all as always for tuning into my video i really really appreciate y'all make sure y'all comment down below what's y'all favorite vanilla let's talk about it in the comments it might be something that i might want to just turn around and get my hands on right because i do have different ones coming in and different things like that so y'all can only see what my desk look like it's a mess but anyway just comment down below and y'all also follow y'all girl on tiktok it's girl boss building i absolutely love it i'm doing my things you won't be surprised you'll be surprised by the content i got going up and i love it so the form of looking good it's a form of smelling good thank y'all and y'all be blessed